it works as a sort of a vassal like state. We can quickly pop over towards a new tag, the tab that we have here called the subjects tab. And as you can see, there is this uh, colonial area called Greater Curacao, and they're a colony. And basically what you can do is you can have tax efficiency. The higher your tax efficiency is, the higher this uh, modifier called Liberty Desire is. And basically what happens is the higher your Liberty Desire, the bigger the chances is you will get an uprising and the nation will go out on its own. So that's something you want to take care of. It's kind of what happened in 7076 when uh, the British uh, were too busy fighting a war somewhere else. And, uh, well, pretty much uh, no taxation without representation happened. And the United States was formed. And one thing led to the other, and then the Berlin Wall fell. But that's a story for another time. And also the uh, expansion should be coming out later today. I believe the current estimate is somewhere around 7 o'clock local time here in Stockholm, which is in about three hours from now. It sh uh, it we expecting it to be deployed. Of course, no guarantees given because uh, stuff sometimes happens. But, you know, that's uh, it's, it should be coming out today. And I am no longer in sync. We're probably going to need to reboot the game there. It happens sometimes. Uh, let me quickly check here with uh, our developers as uh, this is a beta version of the game that we are running on. Uh, let me quickly check over here. No, that should be fine, actually, because I'm an observer. As an observer, that is not a problem. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, uh, I'm, a, I'm an observer in this particular game, so being... Uh, uh, yeah, we're actually re-hosting, because uh, uh, we're... Uh, Having some issues on that one. So, yeah, like I said, we are playing in a beta version of the game, which sometimes causes some tr uh, some problems. And you know what? These things happen. We, we this, this particular version of the game is being pushed out uh, at some later time. The Conquest of Paradise is already done. And uh, at this point, we're pretty much playing with our internal beta as the as the actual uh, the, the version of the game that's going to be deployed was done yesterday. But these things happen. Uh, we've had it happen before. This is, again, internal beta. So we're going to go for a uh, quick break. And uh, we're going to be right back with you here from our studio here in Stockholm. Don't go anywhere. We thrived in our lands, but great nations explore, they expand, they conquer. Now rumors of a continent at sea, with cities of gold tempt our rulers, while stories of vast fertile plains and traveling people intrigue landholders. Our merchants dream of islands overflowing with riches unlike anything we have ever seen. With such infinite possibility and such unimaginable wealth, we cannot wait to claim the unknown. It is our time to embark on a conquest of paradise. Peggy 12 Noble men and women, 80 years ago we cast off our Danish oppressors and soon fought alongside our allies in London to seize the Baltic from unfit tyrants. But now we stand again on the eve of war. As we speak, in Swedish North America, an army hardened in war moves north. Fleets embark from our colonies in Swedish Cuba to seize the rich islands of the Caribbean while ships in Swedish Africa head south to secure the trade routes to India. Our other allies in Castile and Austria, we assure us that they will honor our alliance. London has foolishly focused on their petty squabbles with Paris for generations. But what thought have they given them? Or steps have they taken to protect themselves from their growing allies in Stockholm? <laughs> Not enough, I say. When storytellers and poets write of tomorrow, it will be of the day that England, nay, the world, was rocked by the great and mighty empire of Sweden. Peggy 12 
Ah, well, sorry about that. These things sometimes happen, sadly enough, and uh, we all just have to deal with that. And uh, maybe, with a bit of luck, we'll just get the uh, fa la 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 on once again. So, you know, these, th like I said, this is... Yep, there it is. fa la 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 on. What a delightful experience that is. But welcome back here into uh, the studio. Like I said, we are going to continue here. And uh, the uh, and this is, once again, uh, the beta build of the game. And uh, Stability is sometimes a problem. But, you know, the retail build has been done for... Uh, which took well, like a day now, so it's uh, ready for you guys to enjoy. And hopefully that uh, those errors don't actually pop up. But let's continue on with this game. I just had a I just had a quick chat here with uh, the Hanza, and according to him, according to him, and this is apparently a secret, and I'm not supposed to talk about it, but apparently many big wars are about to happen, and uh, they've got about 13 years to do it. Just 13 years to do it for the fairly big war. The city name. Okay, I'm, I'm quickly going to go into the chat as well because you guys are uh, are also talking. Quill 18's in there, and apparently the city name is pronounced Brussels A. I'm not quite sure what that uh, particular context is, but I'm quite sure that's actually pronounced Brussel. But that's my personal. Depends where you know. Unless you're in the French part of the country, but then it's called Bruxelles, probably. So technically, it's like an enclave in the. It's a Dutch enclave in the French part of Belgium which is its own government next to the Flemish government, which then has a federal government. It's kind of difficult to understand when it comes to Belgium. It's probably also one of the most complicated federal governments set up in the world. It's probably one of the reasons why they struggled to get a cabinet for like 200, 300 days. Although they were overshadowed by Iraq when they took like four years to get a government rolling, which was pretty impressive to be fair. However... Belgium. Oh, uh, yes. Well, to be fair, we have the Netherlands here in our game as well. And they have swiftly, swiftly taken over most of Bel Belgium, except for uh, Restel. Well, technically, is this? Yeah, this is France, isn't it? Yeah, that is Flandern. Well, then it's uh, Flanders, technically. So, bit of a weird, bit, bit of a weird location, though, to have Flanders, because Flanders is all of this up here. Technically, in real life, but this is Europe. You know, it's Alice Four. This is Conquest of Paradise, and pretty much as soon as you hit the unpause button, the uh, history no longer counts because you will go your own way in uh, history. There, and then you end up with monstrosities like Revolutionary France that has taken over most of Europe, and Aragon, and the United Kingdom, which no longer exists as the United Kingdom, and Swedish North America, because apparently that is a thing now among. Uh, many, many people. I was kind of wondering why um, the audio needs to be cranked up ever so slightly. Matt, stop showing off. I can show off whenever I like. Uh, that's right. So, though, there are apparently wars on their way, and I'm really curious on what it's going to be. Hansa is not doing anything at the moment. Denmark, not doing anything right now, and it uh, looks like uh, they're looking pretty good. Ukraine? It's not really one of our uh, one of our uh, guys in the in this particular session, and it looks like Bohemia has gone to war with Morocco. And that, what else are they at war? Oh, ha -ha. So Ottomans, Spain, Venice, and Bohemia are at war with Morocco and Naples, and Hausa for some bizarre reason. However, this means that there is already some significant uh, war going on here amongst the uh, the masses down here. And you know what? This could be the end of Morocco, who is currently in fourth place. And like I said before, this is not, unlike uh, whose line is it anyway, this is actually about the score. So the score does matter because mainly the top eight players of this particular game in overall will be allowed to pick their game uh, their nations first in the next session which will be starting at the end of uh, this month so we're going to be starting off i think in about 10 about 12 days from now we'll be starting off the next session which you'll be able to watch from the start from 1444 all the way up to 1821 and uh, who knows what will happen in that one. As uh, a lot of people were complaining, saying, you know what, this, these, these games, they're really, really cool. However, when you get to this late game stage, it's kind of already decided. And that's completely true. France is so strong in this. Russia, so strong again. And followed immediately by uh, the Netherlands. Also incredibly strong. Look at this monstrosity over here. If we can quickly actually go over towards the cultural map mode. He's done quite a number on, uh, yeah, England. 
Dutch England right here, because that's a thing. However, uh, this war is well underway, and Spain is all over the place. I don't think Morocco has any troops whatsoever, and they're firmly uh, blockading the uh, Pillars of Hercules here, and that's not going to be, you know, the Morocco is trying to get the hell out. They're actually, uh, it's actually a trade fleet down here, but I don't think they've got any troops whatsoever. Uh, no, it doesn't appear that's kind of broken at the moment, at least in this beta version. Um, yeah, they got 109,000 troops. Where the hell are they hanging out? Are they over in their colonies? Wouldn't be surprised if they're... No, because Hindustan has joined the war as well. Hindustan is also trying to war. Where the hell are all these troops? Where are these Moroccan troops? I saw that they had a ton... Uh, okay, there's 19,000 here. Uh, where are the rest, though? There's 60,000 over here. And that's 78 trade ships. Those won't be able to stand up versus this absolutely m m a massive trade fleet of Spain down here. And what is this particular war for? Probably for the trade. Netherlands owns 52% of the trade here. Yeah, there we go. Spain having uh, most of the trade in this particular uh, trade node here in Sevilla. And uh, this is probably also a good time to talk about the new trade nodes that have been added to Conquest of Paradise. We have the Western European trade node right here, which is being controlled by Spain and the Netherlands. And as you can see, this is a new trade node which is sitting in the middle, or at least off the coast of Europe, in the Atlantic. Now, this particular area, this particular area right here is considered to be shallow water, so you won't actually get any attrition to uh, contest it. However, it does it is an incredibly powerful note because it trades into Antwerp, it trades into London, it trades in Bordeaux, and then it trades into Sevilla. And as you can see, it kind of replaces the links that once used to go straight in towards London, which was very, very problematic for na for North European nations as they had some serious, serious trouble trying to take control of uh, uh, any trade from the uh, eastern seaboard. Now, that has changed so slightly to give them a bigger chance, especially for, like, Spanish nations and stuff like that, as they will get a lot of uh, influence from the Caribbean node. But now they can also take uh, Chesapeake Bay and all that and all that particular area, so you won't be forced to go down a sort of historical route in towards this area. As you can see, 